G'day, thanks for watching and I hope you're well wherever you are in the world right now. I don't know a lot about this issue but I'm just dropping in to let you know about it because you do need to know about it before you go out shooting events or sports in artificially lit areas. <laughs> Okay, so this issue relates to the Canon EOS R, and it may also relate to the Canon EOS R5 and R6. I don't have a copy of those cameras. I would be interested to know from you, if you do, if this happens on those cameras. Either way, you need to know about it to test it, because if it does happen, it could be an issue for you. It relates to the silent shutter. The silent shutter is an amazing feature. I have loved using the silent shutter in so many situations, just like if you're in an enclosed space, maybe you're taking photos of a young child or an animal, or you don't want the seagull to jump, or you don't want the cat to wake up, something like that. Just whatever the case may be, silent shutter is terrific. It's really, really good. But in saying that, Canon has come down with a massive case of the hammer on the silent shutter. You can't use it in a number of situations, and sometimes using it locks out other functions. For instance, you can't use a speed light with silent shutter, it won't trigger. Can't figure out why, but you can't do it. It rules it out in situations where you are gonna need to use a speed light, you can't use a silent shutter, so it's one or the other. Okay, so this issue may be of more interest to you because it relates to the image quality, the results you get. And what I noticed was using silent shutter in areas where there's artificial lighting, uh, such as incandescent or fluorescent lighting at a slightly higher shutter speed the image can produce banding or at least using silent shutter can produce banding in the image and it seems to come about from about 1 250th of a second upwards in speed I'm going to show you some examples here and as you can see from the slower shutter speeds you can't quite see the banding it's not coming through but as the shutter speed increases you can see it's starting to band up through the image and in fact by the time you get to some of the quite higher shutter speeds here the image is totally f I mean you can't use this image and I actually had a couple that turned out like this in a situation where I had deliverable objectives so it was a little bit tricky to sort of work around I had to pick out the ones that I'd use the slower shutter speed and uh, pick out the sharp ones because of course with the faster shutter speed you're using that for a reason and if you're in a situation where it's artificially lit and you've got the ability to use the faster shutter speed you know it'd be fantastic to be able to use a silent shutter and get the images you, you would without it it's just that extra layer that's not being given to you right because you can use the high shutter speeds in those situations with the artificial lighting you just can't use the silent shutter so if you wanted to do it in a case where so there was a quiet scene in a show but there was still quite a lot of activity, you wanted to use a fast shutter speed and silent shutter, sorry pal, but if you want to do that, you're going to get banding in your highlight. Anyway, this is something you need to think about because what if you turned up in an event, suddenly switched over silent shutter, got caught up in the moment just loving it, and then later got back and checked your memory card to find that you couldn't use any of those photos. That would really annoy you and, and whatever time you'd spent getting those photos. So know it in advance. Silent shutter, when you're using it in artificial situations of artificial light, such as incandescent fluorescent light, does produce banding in the slightly higher shutter speeds upwards right through the range. That's it. Subscribe if you want to. We're coming out of Wellington, New Zealand, so it might be a different perspective. As always, hit that like button, please, and have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. Boom.